All right, so as we're playing Overwatch 2, I kind of wanted to check out the, the new uh, animated short Kiriko. I will say I'm surprised by the dislike count. Uh, it's got that many dislikes, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely surprised by that. Huh. I guess we'll watch it and find out why. It is nine minutes, so I think this makes it the... It, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, I, I actually I haven't seen the waste this wastelander animated short either, so we'll, I'll check that one out as well. But uh, this one I haven't seen for sure. It's nine minutes. So it's almost a ten minute short. So it's like half a twenty five minute episode of like a of like a like a, a show or something. So I don't. Yeah, I wonder if the length has something to do with that dislikes, but it, it's still majorly liked. So that's good at least. So oh, let's check it out. <laughs> Well, that's loud. Okay, sorry. Let me lower that a little bit. Whew. Okay. Hi, Mr. Yoshida. Oh, hi, Kiriko. <laughs> donuts for dinner again? <laughs> These aren't just any donuts. They're Fox Festival Donuts, with spirit sprinkles. Spirit <laughs> Wanna sprinkles. try one? No, thank you. But I hope you and your mother enjoy them. I will say this, Here. the animated, the animation team behind these shorts is great. She brought her vacuum. Reminds me of Big Hero 6, yep. which I love that movie. You know, someone came to work with me today, and she's very excited to see you. <laughs> Hey there, little rabbit. Steph. You're getting so good at that. Oh, but of course. Oh, I've got something for you. Oh, good thing she got her a fox and not a rabbit. <laughs> do I look? Ah, she wears that in game. <laughs> well, I should get going. See you later, little fox. Mr. Yoshida, pray for me. <laughs> Mom! You're here! Uh, Kiriko, it's not safe here anymore. Just last week, someone in this building was robbed at gunpoint. You should never have moved out! I brought you groceries. Mom. Wait, is it not safe here anymore? I'm or not overreacting. Please, tell me this is not your dinner. Uh... Kiriko. <sighs> Donuts are definitely not a healthy dinner. I they're maybe a delicious dinner, but they're not a healthy spirit. dinner. Just like grandma was. Your grandmother is gone. And I will not lose you too. But mom, the fox spirit can block bullets and balance your blood sugar. She's an all-purpose kind of spirit. All-purpose. Like flour. Which makes... Donuts! You know I have a sword, right? I'm fine. I'm That's so random. safe. You know... <laughs> I stay up all night worrying about you. To be fair, Stop that would... Training with me. To be fair, that would be me as a parent, though. Like... <laughs> I my, my kids would be talking to me about like you know how all set they are and, and if they were like annoying me I'd be like you do realize I have every type of weapon you can think of right I have guns I have swords I have knives like I'm set I'm strapped so don't piss me off kid <laughs> but it didn't seem like she was like threatening or whatever it's just like she just kind of mentioned it I, I could be wrong but I was like what the fuck Kanezaka's <laughs> falling apart and I I don't know how to protect you Faith alone isn't enough, Kiriko. Mom, you may not believe in the fox spirit, or what Grandma taught me, but believe in me. I'm stronger than you think. Are you?
how ridiculous you sound. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I'm protected by an imaginary animal spirit. Donuts and the owes us a lot of money. I, I already told you. I don't know where he is. You think this is a game? You think the fox spirit is gonna protect you? We are Hashimoto's son! Would it kill you to eat a festival? <laughs> Pickles! Anything! I just want what's best for you, Kiriko. Ninja vanished. Damn, what the fuck? For a second there, that's turned into a horror movie. <laughs> I'm gonna kick every one of you in the face. What? No one threatens the Hashimoto! Wait, wait, I, I don't want to get kicked in the face. I'm gonna call for backup. <laughs> okay. The, the, holy f- oh, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Fuck, that got dark fast. Jesus. Where? Hachimoto. Son. Okay, okay, he's alive. You, Hashimoto, have preyed on this city. This neighborhood. These people. For too long. I have a message for you to take back to your boss. Hanezaka is under my protection. Okay. That is horrifying. <laughs> Holy fuck! Like totally, this whole sh animated short's like all over the place. Fuck. Yeah, that's her. That's uh, is that her ultimate in the game? And I have seen that ability being used while I was playing, but I haven't played her yet. So. Are you okay? A brave little fox. Brave? Like she she fucking hauled an axe Your into an elevator. The <laughs> bravery She's is not the word that comes to mind. Quickly. Psycho. Thank you, Kiriko. Jesus. Okay. Suddenly, Night City music. I mean, yeah, like, I, I was thinking that kind of reminded me of Cyberpunk. Mom? <gasps> Your heart. Oh, <laughs> I'll be okay. Maybe I shouldn't have stopped training with you, 
after all. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I judged your donuts a little too harshly. <laughs> Maybe moving home for a little while isn't such a bad idea. I'd be lying if I said the dialogue didn't confuse me a little bit. You are grandma. We'd be so proud of you. My baby is a superhero. <laughs> Okay, um, I, I liked the animation. I'm, I, I'd be lying if I, if I sat here and I said I wasn't a little confused. Tonally, I will say this, like this, I think this is one of those animated shorts that absolutely needed to be longer because it did feel compact in what occurred. Like nine minutes was not long enough for them to have those tonal shifts feel smooth. And I get that there was a time constraint and they were trying to make it a short. So it had to be like less than 10 minutes. But damn, was that I, I will say this, like that's that's the only part of the animation I thought was a little rough was like the transitions tonally between each moment. Like we we we, we start off kind of nice. You know, it's really nice. It's her coming into the it looks like the apartment complex. She meets the nice, cute little deaf girl. She has this cute little conversation and, and speaks to her with sign language. Like all that feels tonally consistent so far, right? And then she sees her mom and there's like a slight tonal shift with her, like a little bit of like comedy. And it's like, you know, I had the fuck spirit. And she's like trying to like, you know, explain to her mom that she's tough and she can handle herself. Uh, I, I did kind of find it funny. <laughs> the, the line about like the, the donuts being like the fuck spirit also balances my, my, my blood sugar, my show. <laughs> like, I thought that was funny. But then it, this transition hits and this is when the rough transitions kind of hit is uh right w right here just immediately just it, it fades in with hashimoto and then it smacks you with the music and it's like this slow-mo with the gangsters it's like okay fine one rough transition you know you, you can understand but it, you know the the way they act is like super over the top but okay they're cool they're crazy gangers and stuff and then it totally switches to this and then she's like overhearing what's happening in the hallway. The tone starts to steadily shift back to more of the sinister kind of rough moment. This psycho dude like ripping off his helmet and like screaming in his face uh, over the top. But again, I could see it for in intimidation purposes. And then it just goes like full horror movie, like out of nowhere. <laughs> and not admittedly a badass line. Like she just casually says, I'm going to kick all of you in the face. Okay, okay, that's intimidating and it is kind of cool. I liked it. And then the action kind of kicks off and th what this guy does is kind of... I, I get that it's like cartoony, it's supposed to be family-friendly-esque. So what this guy does over here is supposed to be kind of out of place. He's like, I don't want to get kicked in the face. I'm going to call for backup. <laughs> like, but... I don't know if that could just be me, but it did feel a little extra out of place. Like unnecessarily. So I don't know. I, I did find that kind of rough. But it, yeah, it's just like the transitions during the animation in terms of the tone. And then this just threw me off kind of hard. It's just the kid goes psych like like this smacked me. It's funny. I'm sure, like, I, if I were to watch it through properly a second time, knowing that's going to happen, I'd be, like, ready for it, and, and it'd be, I find it funnier. But it, it's just, like, a jump scare. <laughs> and then she fucking throws... Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Like, tonally, that, that completely, like... And then immediately, like, they switch to, like, a calm, like, loving moment where, you know, he hugs his grand... I'm assuming his granddaughter. And, you know, things cool off. They're a little intimidated by her, but, you know, she comes over... And, it, again, like, I get that this was a short that was compacted to nine minutes, but this is one of those that I think could have benefited from not being a short. Like, 
When I think of the Overwatch shorts that were perfectly like paced and perfectly timed, perfectly tonally consistent, I think of uh, the Hanzo and Genji one with the the dra- the Dragon Brothers. I think of uh, the Bastion one, which was had a pretty steady tone throughout, and that did have one rapid transition when he you know has that like that PTSD moment where. He, he turns into his Gatling and pulls out the forest, but that's one time. And I think you can do that once in a short, especially when it's supposed to be that jarring. But then you have to keep a level of consistency, which the Bastion one did. This one had like two or three like tonal shifts that really like smack you in the face in a nine in, in the span of nine minutes, which I think is a bit much uh, honor and glory. That one was a very, very good one uh, all the way through tonally. And that felt like it was appropriate for the amount of time it took. This is the only one I I can think of off the top of my head that really needed a bit extra time to transition between those moments. Uh, again, having one or two, at, like having one, I would prefer in a short in in something they're trying to be a short, be jarring. But other than that, so yeah, that's my criticism. Is just the tonal stuff. Otherwise, it's beautifully animated, which is comes as no surprise. It's Blizzard; they've been very good at a- animations and cinematics for years, and particularly this this style of animation. This uh, Big Hero 6 style is just absolutely awesome. I love it. Very, very well done. Apologize for my dog. She is barking. I, 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 like, I like what they did with this. They, they did a very, very good job uh, with the animation. The art style is obviously very cons- uh, consistent with what we've seen with Overwatch overall. And I did like the, the lighting effects and animation they did with the energy she uses uh, right here. I like this contrast a lot. It's... Re- it's really nice uh and i think it was very effective with how they use it here like the these part particle effects so i i like that quite a lot yeah yeah like o- overall it's it's beautifully animated beautifully well done dialogue was a, a little like weird at a couple points either with the dialogue with the mom at the end if it, it, it felt a bit strange with the the back and forth like I don't know how to explain it properly. I think it's just because they said because they had this like, but maybe like they did that like one or two too many times. You should only do that like once. I don't know. I, I, it's all nitpicks. I mostly have with it. Overall, I did like it. It's very good animation. It was very enjoyable. Yeah, it's just. I, I'm throwing those small criti- critiques out there. It's just. I really wish they would make movies out of this shit like movies like or full blown like TV show with the quality is like this in each and every single one of them. It's just like, I don't know, something more expansive like that. I think they, they could just absolutely hit out of the park with and Overwatch. It's not like the story is all in the game anyway. So you might as well put the story in like an, a show, like maybe an inter Internet show or a YouTube show, uh, but funded by Blizzard. Like that would be fucking awesome. And I think a lot of people would be more interested to play Overwatch if we had something like that can you imagine if blizzard had its own animation team and story writing team and voice actors do a netflix series kind of like in the same vein as arcane or cyberpunk edge runners but with overwatch oh my god that would be so great i just i absolutely fucking love that and i think they would see such an influx of players uh and have a consistent amount of players playing because a lot of more people would feel that that story element satisfied with the show and then they'd get the gaming part of it satisfied with actually playing the game so there's there's that i don't know like that, that that's that's it uh for like my take on this though yeah good good short good short 